Hi, I'm Ryan from iThemeLand, where WordPress and WooCommerce come to life. An attractive description can act as a trigger to convince the customers to order your products. With that in mind, let's see how to add and customize the product description to the table column using the WooCommerce product table plugin. Step 1. Add content element to the table column. To add the content column to your product table in our plugin, first, open columns page, click on the add a column button, in the new column box, click on the add element option of the cell contents box, and then select contents from the left panel. By adding content element, you can find two tabs in the element setting panel to customize in the table general and style let's see how their customization features can help you manage the content displayed in your table step two manage how to show product content in the table in the general tab you have access to some options to customize how to show product content in the table cells which are limit the word count. In this field, you can add a number to limit the number of words displayed in the content cell. For example, if you write 20, the customers can read only the first 20 words of the product description in the table. Truncation symbol. This is the symbol that customers see when the product description in the table is limited and there is more to read on the product page. By default, the plugin uses three dots as a truncation symbol. However, you can choose one of them to customize it. Keep it. Users see three dots when there is more content to read. Hide it. Nothing is displayed to the users, even more content is provided. Enter the custom symbol. You can write another symbol in the text box to be displayed in the table instead of three dots on the next field. Read more label. This label is used when you want to let your customer Go to the product page and read the full description. To set a label for the read more button, click on the add element and set an element. For example, here we try to customize the content cell. So first, choose the icon for the read more label and then select the chevron down symbol to be displayed in the table. Now, go ahead and set a 30 limit word count and enter this thing right here as your truncation symbol. Now, as you can see the result on live preview, the content cell is displayed to the customers as we expected. The symbol that we wanted and the chevron down icon are added at the end of the description. Show more or less toggle. It is also possible to enable show more or less toggle in the content cell so your customers can see the full content in the table by clicking on the show more button or collapsing it using the show less button. Action on short codes in content. In this field, you have three options to show or hide short codes in the product content. Process once at the end of table creation. By choosing this option, the plugin will check the content of all products once after creating the table and showing all shortcodes. Remove all shortcodes from the contents before printing. No shortcodes are displayed in the content cell of the table and all shortcodes will be deleted from the content. Process under individual product context. By selecting this option, 
the plugin will check the contents of each product in the row is created and the shortcode is displayed. Condition for elements The options in this tab are useful when setting a condition for displaying the content cell in the table. There is a separate video for this section which you can find on our channel. Step 3 Customize the style of content in the table. The style tab allows you to change the table's content element's appearance. There are many options for customizing the content configuration such as font settings, font color, border, padding settings, and etc. For example, here let's change the font color. And now let's go check the results. As you can see, the content color has been changed.